okay. Uh, first, I want to start uh, talking about the Colombian Amazon. It covers around 40% of the Colombian continental territory. There are present five main biomes where tropical rainforest prevails, um, uh, with 60% of the um, of the total area. It, as we know, that they have a special importance at national and international level. However, since 2010, the forest fire yeah. in the Colombiana states, che sono aumentati addirittura del 30%. Uh, uh, are increasing the number and in magnitude e that are after the peace agreement. Stanno aumentando sia il numero che la grandezza. So, there are logical questions. What is happening happening there? In order to study this, I decided to uh, show municipality. Quindi, with ho scelto di parlare delle municipalità. Also is located in the Caquetá, in particular di questa area che vedete qui sulla slide. This municipality has chosen because four main aspects. The first is because obviously it's located in the Colombian Amazon. Second, according with the data, the forest fires are increasing um, very heavily in this zone. Third, because as you can see in this uh, left map, there are an and in, in a special part on an interesting legal status, according with the Colombian government, it's possible to change the land use in, in order to improve the well-being to in this area, according with the government, they say that. And the last but not least is because the Cartagena Chara is an important so zone uh, before and after and during the peace agreement. Okay, as I mentioned before, the forest parties are increasing. Um, this is the behavior since 2013. The two circles are showing two important moments uh, in the Colombian history. The first is when the peace agreement was uh, signed, and in 2018 was, was when the peace agreement was in, start to be implemented. Uh, as you can see, this, this uh, forest forest increased in number and magnitude in this year. We don't know why, so I want to, st to start to uh, study this. Um, also, you can see here that the forest fires in the Amazon has a psychical behavior. For this reason, I decided to split the forest fires into seasons, where DAF, meaning uh, December, January, and February, and March, April, and May, have the uh, maximum number of forest fires. It seems to be strongly related to meteorological and socioeconomic factors. For the reason, the objective of this investigation is assessing forest fires in the Colombian Amazon throughout climate change as environmental factors. Uh, this is a brief of the methodology. I use socioeconomic condition using secondary information. Also, I use uh, Landsat images to try to uh, get the land cover. Meteorological information from ERA-5 climate condition from CMIP-6 scenarios, trying to know what is the importance of each uh, variable uh, in order to explain the behavior of forest fires. I used a model, a machine learning model, to try to, to assess this. I get some results. The, result, the first result was related with the spatial temporal distribution. Here in this uh, heat map, you can see that the, um, the land cover is basically Two main, two main land covers, the TLC, that means the tree cover uh, open forest, sorry. And the second one is troops, that is uh, troops. Um, the location or the spatial location of these two main uh, land cover uh, classification is, if you can see the yellow one surrounding the river is the troops. Uh, and the second one, the open forest is in this zone in, in orange. So what happened? I know that because the literature that the shrubs in Colombia in the sun is, look, is related to um, agriculture. I decided to overlap some maps uh, uh, to try to know how is the expansion of the agriculture in the suns. For example, if you can see this uh, D map, the, the last one is the, the, the overlapping the agriculture in 2002 versus 2020. If you can see the, the agriculture is growing surrounding the river. And in the, on this map, the right map, you can see the forest fires in the last decade 
the, is, the, the behavior is similar um, to the, the expansion, the, the, the expansion to the agriculture. So here we are an, already an important driver that is the agriculture on the sun, but that not explain why the rainforest is burning on the EAF and m, &M. For this reason, I decided to study the meteorological variables. Uh, I decided to study in two main uh, method methodologies. First, using anomalies. I just decided to put here the anomaly of temperature. You can see that in the days where are present forest parties in this zone, the temperature is in, in average five Kelvin up uh, in comparison with the days that are not uh, forest fires. Um, if you can see here um, on the green circle uh, is where the temperature are the most increased values and coincides with the zones where are um, the majority of forest fires in this area. Uh, in general, I can analyze that, for example, the temperature in the days with forest fires, that is the, in this graph, the um, Rex boxes are the um, uh, oh, red yeah. one. Yes. And, Natalia, uh, the last three minutes. Yes. Um, the humidity is lower. Also, the total column water vapor is lower in these zones. Um, so I can conclude that, for example, the temperature, the humidity, and the column water vapor has an important where we are talking about to the forest fires. Um, also, the climate conditions. If we are talking about to, to the condition in 2020, what happened with the temperature? If, the, if we are talking about the last scenario, the worst scenario, the temperature will increase 10 kelvins in total. That is a lot. And the temperature will decrease 6%, more or less, the, the uh, say, 6% the, the, the humidity. Uh, regarding the socioeconomic characteristics, I choose some of them that where I can find some data. Uh, for example, I decided to split the urban and rural population. I also contemplate the GDP, the, uh, the multidimensional poverty index, the informal work, uh, variables related with the work, uh, like a mass increase, forced reclutment, displacement. Um, these variables, all of these variables that I talked about uh, before was an input to this model trying to understand the behavior, but how I did it. I, I determined it through the, the scenarios using, using a magical phrase, what happened if? What happened if I decide to increase 0.8% the rural population? Here, the first one, the blue line is the, for the behavior of forest fires through the year without any, uh, uh, any increase or decrease parameter. And the yellow one is the forest fires. Is I if I decide to uh, increase 0.8 percent the rural population, the change is 73 percent. This is means that the forest fires will increase 17 percent. Was the same logic with the informal work? What happened if I increase the informal work? And the change with the forest fires is 30, 37 percent. Uh, there are some conclusions that we already know that the land cover changes is mainly related with the small scale agriculture. Also, the temperature, humidity, and the total cotton water and vapor are important. And for example, the rural population, the displacement, and variable important for the, the forest forest behaviors. And here is what, what is the next step is try to design and prioritize strategies in the context of climate change using the, the resource that I just mentioned and uh, taking into account the scenarios of CMIP-6, the climate change scenarios. Thank you very much.